Elias Malice. You were sent here to investigate a ghost. What did you discover? I am a busy man. I don't have time for... Oh, my lord, I... I forgive me. I didn't recognize you in your new wardrobe. So grand. This is a pleasant surprise. I have heard the most unfortunate rumors. You're better off not believing anything anyone says about me. Yes, of course. The grapevine does lie, doesn't it? Now, you are asking about the ghost, yes? Let me see. I assure you I've been hard at work assessing the situation. It's just the Jedi have been guarding the old Jedi Enclave very tightly. That's, um, that's where the ghost first appeared, you see. Don't let it get stuck in your throat. Speak. The ghost appears only sporadically. Not even the Jedi who guard the Enclave can make it appear. They've resorted to using a young Padawan to try and draw the ghost out through blood ties or something. Foolishness if you ask me, but I'm a man of meager understanding. It seems the Jedi have a weak link. The Jedi guard her closely, but I think you may be on to something. Many a Sith is formed from a weak Padawan's impressionable mind. I can't imagine an impressionable young Padawan being able to resist your particular charms, and it would save you the trouble of fighting a small army of Jedi. I cannot twist her until I understand what tempts her. You might visit the Jedi training grounds by the waterfall. It's abandoned now, dangerous. The data recorders there may hold certain insights into her personality. In the meantime, I will endeavor to learn what I can of her Jedi masters. Get a quarry droid. Calm down, Ashara. There is no emotion. There is peace. Try it again. I tried. I tried already. I can't do it. Trust in the Force, and even the oldest and sturdiest of walls may be pulled down. Forget this. If there really are Sith on Terrace, we should be fighting them, not sitting here daydreaming. Patience, Ashara. One must empty oneself of emotion and find the peace with which to act in the Force. Now, try again. The Jedi Code states, There is no passion. There is serenity. Can anyone explain what this means? Ashara. It means the Jedi must be prepared to think calmly, even in intense situations. Passion is a tool of the dark side. There is no emotion. There is peace. It also means Jedi should temper their intuition with wisdom. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. Very good, Ashara. So you see, this line of the code ties earlier elements of the code together. Ashara, relent. That's an order. You must learn restraint. Varric is clearly not your equal. There was no reason to press the attack. We're training for war. The Sith won't surrender. We have to drive them back with everything we've got. These are not Sith. They are fellow Padawans. You show great potential, Ashara. But you must temper your fervor for the light with patience. Cassius will be in the assault group. The rest of you will be support. Any questions? Then take your positions. Master Ryan, I think you put me in the wrong group. You are in the support group, Ashara. You will provide backup to the assault team. That's what I mean. I should be on the assault team. Varric can barely hold a lightsaber. Learning to support your fellow Jedi is an important skill. Varric lacks your confidence, and so requires your compassion and encouragement. But Master Ryan! Enough, Ashara. You have received your instructions. Join the others if you wish to complete your trial. I found the data banks. 
Our Padawan has a bit of a pride problem. She is a less than perfect Jedi candidate. Most excellent. In my experience, pride and insecurity go hand in hand. My lord, you went searching for crumbs and discovered a feast. She is easily frustrated by difficult things. I think she could be made to doubt her place among the Jedi. Hmm. Yes, it would be delicate business. But if I may proffer my most humble opinion, it's a brilliant idea. Make her feel threatened, alone and frightened, and then offer yourself as her sole protector in this harsh, cruel galaxy. Of course, you'll still need a way to flush her out of hiding and make the threat seem credible. Do you have any men you could send to attack her? I could fight them off and win her affection. Zash sent me alone, I'm afraid, but that's an excellent thought. Rumor has it Lord Anathemos of the Assassin's Pyramid is here in search of a particular holocron. Now what I'm thinking is, and it may be crazy, you can use that holocron to reach an agreement with Lord Anathemos for the use of his assassins. If Lord Anathemus can be bought, I'll buy him. The abandoned outpost is in a nearby region. I'll transfer the location, but be warned, it's swarming with rat ghouls and other monstrosities. I found the holocron. Excellent, my lord. Lord Anathemos can be found at the Empire's current outpost in that region. I suggest you speak with him right away. And I'm pleased to say that I've found the perfect place for you to lure your Padawan to. An area of swamp near enough to Republic territory that you'll feel secure, yet remote enough that you'll be truly at your mercy. Are you angling for some sort of prize here? Certainly not. My duty is to serve. Have Lord Anathemos' assassins drive the girl to this spot, and then secure yourself a hollow communicator from a nearby Republic soldier. Once the trap is sprung, you can call on a Republic frequency and offer help. Good luck. Lord Anathemus, I understand you were looking for this holocron. That holocron. Where did you get it? Give it to me. No, wait. This must be a trap. I'm not fooled. There's a Jedi Padawan I want dead. I understand you have the means. Why would a powerful Sith Lord like yourself hire assassins to kill a mere Padawan? Do you think I'm an idiot? I will not be taken for an idiot. If you think your assassins can't handle a Padawan, I'll take this holocron elsewhere. Fine. Though I'm sure I will live to regret it. The assassins are yours. Just tell me where they should wait, and who they should target. I need you to drive her toward this enclave in the swamps. This better be good. I see. So my assassins flush this Padawan out, and then you play the hero. You'll be using some manner of mind trick, I trust. So be it. Now, give me the holocron. My lord, we've ambushed the target and are driving her toward the location you specified. Ashara Zavros, I heard about the ambush. Meet me in the swamps near your position. I can protect you. What? Who are you? How do I know this isn't another trap? If I wanted you dead, I'd just wait for the assassins to catch you and kill you. Maybe I should be worried about who it is that wants me alive so badly. All right, I'll come that way. But if this is a trap, don't think I'll go down without a fight. Sif, I should have known this was some kind of trap. You don't really intend to protect me against your own people. Normally I wouldn't, but I need you alive. That certainly fills me with hope and confidence. With all respect, my lord, we have orders to see this girl dead. Please don't make a fuss. Don't make a fuss. 
You're asking too much, I'm afraid. Wait, my lord. You're not seriously going to... I thought... This is treachery! Lord Anathemos will hear of it! You heard him. We're not going down without a fight. Please, I relent. Lord, Jedi, don't kill me. Of course. The Jedi way is mercy. He will gather more men and keep hunting you. His master will kill him if he fails. Master Ryan says mercy has risk. It wouldn't be mercy otherwise. You call it mercy, but you're too afraid to kill. He's surrendered. There's no courage in killing a helpless man. Why do you care whether he lives or dies? He's just another worthless Sith. He doesn't deserve his life. No, he doesn't. But the same could be said of you, and I won't be goaded. He chased you like an animal through the swamp, and you let him live. I... I suppose you're right. What kind of Jedi would I be if I let this assassin kill again? Please forgive me. feels good, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. It feels so powerful. No, that, that's not what I meant. The Jedi won't have me back now. Not after what I've done. What will I do? Your emotions are a powerful weapon. Embrace them. The Jedi told me to put my emotions aside. Do they know what this feels like? The darkness feels good. But the Order, the teachings, I, I don't know. What do you want from me? I need to see the ghost in the Jedi Enclave. The ghost? But... No. Of course. I will do as you say. I'll go ahead and prepare the Enclave. Make sure no Jedi are around. I'm sorry, Sith. I couldn't do what you said. I just couldn't. You were right to tell us, Ashara. The Jedi Enclave is no place for Sith. And this one gives me an uneasy feeling. Blame it on my misspent youth. This is not a flippant matter. I won't have dark side rituals performed in this enclave. You killed them! You killed the masters! They are Jedi after all. This is all my fault. I should have known better than to deal with a Sith. Just summon the ghost now. My lord, you are utterly clever and resourceful. Thank you so much for clearing out the Jedi for us. I didn't do it for you. Ah, but you did. I am sorry it had to end this way, but you were dead and Darth Thanaton made a better offer. He's made me a lord. Unfortunately, he's also asked that you be executed. My regrets. What's this bloodshed in my grave? I warned you not to summon me again. I warned you to leave me in peace. To keep your Jedi away from my grave. Please, I'm sorry. This Sith needed to speak with you. Your apology is worthless. You must die. Wait! Please don't kill me! Don't let him kill me! I'll do whatever you say! I've been waiting to hear those words for a long time. What is happening? What are you... Strange. How long has it been since I felt at peace? Centuries, at least. What do you want that you went through all this effort to speak to me? I wish to devour you and take your power for my own. Ha! Huh. You don't have the ability to overwhelm me. Sith! 
What did you just do? I took the power that was rightfully mine. What happens now? I am your master now. I don't know. I guess I can't return to the Jedi after this, can I? Fine, I'll come. There's the easy way, the hard way, and then there's your way. No, this isn't right. What am I doing? I'm not dark side. I'm not Sith. You seemed pretty dark side when you murdered your enemies in rage. They were Sith. If I let them live, I'm responsible for all the other people they murder. As a Jedi, I've sworn to end this war, even if I have to kill every Sith in the galaxy. There can never be peace in the galaxy as long as the Sith exist. The Sith thrive on endless war. On the contrary, the Sith Empire is destroying itself with its ceaseless warmongering. That is why I want to change it. You can't change the dark side. And here I thought the Jedi believed in redemption. So what do you propose? How will you change the Empire? By any means necessary. I see. I'll follow you, for now. But in training they warned us that entangling with monsters, we risk becoming monsters ourselves. I will not go against the Jedi teachings or my conscience. But I'll do what I can. I'm realizing there's a lot I don't understand about the Empire. I don't expect a Jedi to understand. But the Empire is strength and freedom. They certainly talk a lot about strength, but freedom? From what I've seen, that belongs to a select few. Slavery is everywhere. And even among the so-called free, only the Sith act with any sort of independence. It's hard to see good in an Empire that thinks of non-humans as nothing more than slaves. The Empire is a meritocracy. Those that can rise to the top. The inferior fall behind. It doesn't sound as if merit has anything to do with it. I just wonder. The original Sith weren't human. It's a contradiction. I do not share the Empire's species preference, but I am not in any place to change it. Yet. Yet. But that's what we're working toward, right? Maybe not a good Empire, but a reasonable one. What was your master like? You had a master, right? I did. Until I trapped her in the body of the Dishard. Ah, so that's whose Ash is. The way she spoke of you, I suspected. She makes me uneasy. She speaks so kindly of you, but the look in her eye and that body... It's wrong. The Dishard eats Force users, and now so does Zash. How could you have done such a horrible thing to your own master? You know you have to free her someday. You can't leave her trapped in that monster no matter what she did. You understand so little of how Sith work. If I free her, she will kill me. I won't ever get used to the fear and suspicion among Sith. You claim to follow your passions, but what about friendship? The Jedi seek spiritual peace, and they watch out for each other. Master Ryan and Osera were more like parents to me than my own parents. They never acknowledged your true potential. They were narrow-minded tyrants, and their subjects were children. But they were wise. They were good men. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to start an argument. I'm still trying to figure things out. My lord, I'm sorry I was so harsh about the Empire earlier. There's just a lot I'm still trying to process. Others will not tolerate your questions as I do. To anyone who sees us, I will be the perfect apprentice. But can you blame me? How would you feel if suddenly you had a Jedi Master and were serving the Republic? You came along of your own free will. I did. And I accept that. I promise I won't let my misgivings interfere with our work. I changed my mind. I have nothing to say to you. I thought Jedi didn't get angry. How could I not be angry? Didn't you hear what happened? Just released on the Holonet. Sith in the Corellian system killed the group of free traders for failing to give them free passage to the Outer Rim. They murdered them. Then they should have known better than to resist a Sith. Passage to the Outer Rim is expensive. How are they supposed to make a living or feed their families? This rant is not very Jedi-like. At least one of us has compassion for these people. Where are your emotions, Sith? Or is it all fear and hatred for you? No love or sympathy? 
If there's going to be any kind of peace agreement, the Empire has to stop this. It sounds like you want to make Jedi out of Sith. Free will is the ultimate good, hmm? Even if it results in the deaths of innocents? But what about their free will? Their desires? I guess they should have been Sith. Forget it. I should have expected you'd take the Sith side. I know Andronicus is rather attached to the ship, but I was wondering if I could fly it now and then. Master Ryan said I showed exceptional aptitude at flying and simulation training, but I've never been able to pilot the real thing. Is there anything the Jedi don't teach their Padawans? Not much. The Jedi Order believes in a thorough education in both theoretical and practical matters. We join the Order as young children, sometimes babies. The Jedi Order raises us. My lord, I've been studying the Sith Code lately, and I'm wondering what you think of the line, Peace is a lie. There doesn't seem to be a lot of room for interpretation, but I know you are an ardent proponent of peace. We Sith aren't very good with rules, even our own. The Jedi Code is the core of our philosophy. We learn it by heart, and it's the foundation of everything we do. But I guess it's different for the Sith. The Sith Code is more a description than a guide. We do not repress our emotions, and we embrace everything that the Force allows. That is what binds us, not the Code. What about the Emperor? And the Dark Council? I thought they governed the Sith. They have their own aims. That's as far as their rule extends. It can't go on like that, you know. How can there be peace with the Sith Empire when every Sith does their own thing? This task we've taken gets more difficult every day. My lord, I must ask a favor of you. Our mission. We cannot hope to accomplish it without help. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we recruit more Jedi to our side. Yes, I know. There are Jedi who would help us. Who would see that a strong rational empire is the only path to peace. Clearly you have a particular Jedi in mind. Master Simon Walls is known by many as a wise, open-minded Jedi. He brought the Sith Lord Karis Veil vale to the light and oversaw his initiation into the Jedi. He has retired in seclusion to Alderaan for personal study and meditation, but young Jedi still make pilgrimages to him. I would like to make a pilgrimage, and if possible, get his support. I don't see why you need the approval of a Jedi. If there's to be peace between the Jedi and the Sith, both sides must come together. I'll return quickly, I promise. I'm not a Jedi. He says I'm not a Jedi? Well, you're quick to anger, stubborn, and you left your training to follow a Sith. I'm not so sure you are a Jedi. Shut up. I'm not a Sith. I came to him for help, and he turned me away. It's not fair. I was the best Padawan Master Ryan and Osara ever trained. I am a Jedi. Why do you cling to the Jedi Order? They will never accept you for who you are. I don't care. I'm a Jedi. I've never been anything else. The return of the Sith in this war has changed things. Sometimes compromise is necessary. Yes, I don't care what Master Simon said. Thank you, my lord, for helping me talk through this. If you hadn't become Sith, what did you want to be? I would have settled for not a slave. Yeah, I guess I would have felt the same in your shoes. I've been thinking about this lately. I was trained to be a Jedi practically from birth. I wonder if it was the right thing. I never really got the chance to choose. Neither did I. But I fought for my freedom and won it. I guess I'm still trying to figure out what I want. My lord, I know I'm not officially your apprentice, but I wanted to thank you. I know we've not always seen eye to eye but I've learned so much from you and your example. You may not always follow the light, but you are good. A Sith gets a reputation for being good, he loses all respect. Don't worry, I can keep a secret. 
I feel more at one with the Force than I've ever felt. I have peace like the Jedi speak of and freedom like the Sith. So, thank you. My lord, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to read you this letter I received. I've been writing to my parents. I haven't seen them since I was little. Dear Ashara, we're glad to hear you're happy and well. We're very proud that you've become a Jedi. Asha is nearly 16 and plans to join Republic Special Forces. Love, Mom and Dad. I haven't gotten around to telling them that I'm working with a Sith. I'm not sure they'd understand. You're not going to ask me to meet them, are you? No. I was just curious about them. I don't really remember them. I don't think we'll start spending holidays together or anything. I've been thinking more about what Master Simon said, and I think he was wrong. Are you still worried about what that worthless Jedi said? About me being a Jedi? No. He believed we were wrong and that you were leading me astray, but he did nothing. Of course he didn't. He was weak. He knew he couldn't do anything. That's exactly what I mean. The Jedi's refusal to do what's necessary to fight, it makes them weak. The Jedi will never beat the Empire if they won't take the offensive. And they'll never win peace either if the Empire can't respect them. Peace is a noble goal, but it's not a means to an end. So you're saying peace is a lie? When it comes to making real change? Yes. I guess I am. A war rages and Master Simon meditates in his clearing. Personal peace is one thing, but apathy? Inaction? These things are unacceptable. I have a question for you, but you must promise not to mock me. I hope this isn't another of your philosophical quandaries. No, it's not that at all. I've never actually played Sabak or Pezak, or any of those kinds of games. I was wondering if you'd teach me. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. I can't believe I've never played those games before. My lord, I have incredible news. A group of Jedi have split from the Jedi Order. This is the perfect opportunity for us to win allies. I'm really not interested in any Jedi interference. I'm not looking for direct support. I just want to know that when it's time to negotiate, we have sympathetic people on the other side. These guys aren't like Master Simon. They're hardliners, very anti-Sith. But their argument with the Jedi is over methods, not aims. Unlike Master Simon, they say they are willing to do whatever is necessary. I'm still not keen on the idea of begging for support from people who want me dead. The main Jedi Council will never deal with a Sith unless he turns to the light. A splinter group is exactly what we need. I'm going to meet with them. I promise I won't be long. My lord. Thank you. We have new allies in the Rogue Jedi, but I couldn't have done it without your training. I was sure this would fail, like the last time you tried to get a Jedi on our side. They were skeptical at first. Like Master Simon, they would not accept me as a Jedi. But this time I knew what to say. You helped me understand. Sith and Jedi is an arbitrary divide. I don't know what I am, and I don't care. I told them the Jedi need to be willing to do whatever it takes. Even ally with a Sith to bring peace to the galaxy. And they didn't laugh you out of the room? There were some who remained skeptical. Their leader, Master Quintus, said that he would be unwise to turn his back on such conviction and determination. Thank you for letting me meet with them, my lord. Do you ever think maybe we're on the wrong side, doing the wrong thing? Mortality is how the weak constrain the strong. I am true to myself. I think I would have hated you for saying that when we first met, but I can see how the Jedi use rules to keep people from their potential. Being strong isn't evil. It's how you use that strength that matters. I've been thinking about the future lately. About us, and about the Empire. It's clear the Empire won't change overnight. I've accepted that. But what about when we're dead? I prefer not to dwell on such morbid topics. If you would allow it, I would be honored to pass on your legacy to your followers and your children. And to teach them what I know of the Jedi as well. 
I'd rather you not pollute my legacy with Jedi teachings. They'll need to understand the Jedi in order to follow the path of galactic peace. Even if we can't change the Empire now, the next generations will learn from your teachings and follow them. <laughs>